Praise the Lord. Welcome to AIM. Guys, we're here at the house. It's a farm day. It's a farm day. Chuck's gone. Nana got to go to the farm with his grandpa. Frida wanted to go, but grandpa said no. So I think he wanted her to help me here. Um, yeah, I was okay with it, but he, he said no. So maybe she'll go um, another time. Maybe when Nana's in school. Nana goes back to school next week. So, um, she'll still be here. She she won't go back to school until maybe the end of the year. So, when you're between junior high and senior high, you choose the school you're going to go to here in Ghana. And um, you wait for your results. And then... You have to see which schools have accepted you, and then you make your final decision. I believe that's how it goes. So in the meantime, you have um, a good amount of time off. So that's why she's here. Anyway, I know she's gonna get the school of her choice because she's very, very smart. And yeah, so we're waiting for that. And in the meantime, she's here. So guys, I asked, and our helper said that this is mango. It's not local mango, I don't think. I think this one is a foreign type of mango. So this particular tree is two different kinds. I think it was two trees together. So that type is the foreign type and then this is the local one and then that one over there i think is local so the local ones i believe come one at a time somewhere off of the branches i don't know guys i'm watching so that is exciting we have mangoes um, the grandchildren are really, really excited about that, too. I hope and pray that everything goes well and they will ripen and we will all get to enjoy it. There's my catnip. As you guys can see, the grass is really high, but our helper has been busy on the other project. That should finish up very soon, the Lord willing, and then we will... Um, he will come here. I think he's going to cut the grass today. So, there's the garden. He also needs to weed the two gardens and cut the grass. Frida and I have been doing laundry and hanging it out. I already took some in. and The rest is drying now. It's about midday, so you're not going to see a lot with the animals, but we're going to go down there anyway. Wanted to give you an update. Um, the dogs are not out because of the laundry. Courage is out, but the rest of them are up. Courage is kind of a cool guy, but he can get in trouble too when the others start pulling laundry down be one chewing on it just like the rest of them but it's kind of hot right now so normally they will be just finding some place to sleep and that's it so hopefully the laundry will dry quick it is hot and it's got a breeze so it should dry really quick and we'll go take the laundry in and we'll get them out so I have to go down here with the animals and give the chickies some more water. The other animals, look, look at these three. Mm -hmm. um, the other chickies normally now, oh look, they tore that thing up guys and they're eating the plastic. I'm going to take it away from them know what their deal is with eating this plastic guys they have food they have food they do they have food they have lots of food in the yard and they're eating this plastic and now big boy wants to ram me because i'm trying to take it from him 
So I'm gonna handle that, I'll be right okay, back. Okay guys, I'm back. I wanted to show you something, but it might be too late. Aha, uh -huh. evidence that stuff will grow down here, but they don't allow it. I'll show you what the other thing is like. You see, they pulled the bottom out from under there and they were chewing it. You see this? You see how the bottom is? They've been chewing it. Mister, stop. See, he's literally trying to chew it. And you see how it is with a cone. So underneath it, I guess it's like a little greenhouse. Look at mister over there. It's gone, mister, it's gone. You tore it up. Looks like she's got some babies. So I'm sure that's not good for them. Plastic is not good. But I don't know what it is, why they decide to chew on it. That's what they've done. My husband bought a metal feeder, so we'll be trying that, but he didn't have time to get it out and situate it. We're also going to be building, um, we have wood here, and he can bring more from the farm too. There's some pieces right there. We're also gonna be building a feeding trough for out here. No more metal on the ground. So we're improving, guys. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on. Brother's trying to get the little pieces of corn that were under there from this morning. See his big, oh, and he found the, look at him. He found the little um, greenery under there. But that's what's going on. Big boys over there, mama. Baby girl's mama has not had her babies yet. So we're gonna see. I don't know when she's gonna have them, guys. But God's timing is best. Yep. His baby girl, she still hangs out with mama. Best friends. <laughs> so they've been in the pond, as you can see, cleaning themselves. Yep, he's eating the little pieces that are in there. So that's what's going on here. Um, it's hot right now, guys. The sun is, is, is in the early afternoon. Like, I think it's almost, uh, let me see, I can tell you guys. It is two o'clock. That's what I was gonna say, right around two. It is right around two. So, um, yeah, they heard me coming. That's why they're out and about. Look at all the eggs, guys. Eight eggs now. Wow. Eight chicky eggs. So this time, they'll be able to hatch them, um, hopeful. Look at little girl. Look at little. No, 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 no. Don't run. Oh. Last time I pet her very nice. And I wanted to show you guys, but I just scared her out instead. Hmm. All right. Roosters are doing great. They're getting really big because I can feed them. They eat a lot. Yep. They eat a lot. And they're in this space. They're alive, guys. They're alive. Out there with the bully rooster gang. The bully rooster gang was picking them off one by one. And here they are. And guys, look at here. Look at what's new over here. Wow. It's empty. The other one's empty too. This is the new sick bay. So this morning I was able to take the four ladies and put them back. Because everybody's getting plain water now. I will be filling up their water. Um, they still have water in there. Most of them are pretty low. So I will be filling those up again. Now, in the afternoons, we have to come out and give them more water. So that's what's going on with them. We'll go on in there. We'll see how things are going. I have to go and turn the water on. I didn't turn the water on. 
sister? What's up? What's up, sister? So these ladies have been laying. I guess we can go pick the eggs together in here. So we're trying something new. We went at seven, you know, at seven while we were cleaning. Eight o'clock, they had 37 eggs. At seven, they had 15. Eight, they had 37. 9.30, we went, 58. 10.30, 30. Now, 5.30 will be our last pickup, and we're gonna see how many they have at 5.30. That's for these ladies here. So I'm just trying to really narrow it down so we're not coming down here too often, but we're also not come not waiting too long to come down here. So that's what I'm trying to investigate and research with our ladies to see the perfect times to come and pick the eggs. I'm trying to limit it. So that it doesn't take all day picking eggs. Now, you see the water. They still have a uh, little water in there. Some of them have more. Some of them down the line there have more water than this end one. They really drink out of the end one. They still have food they're picking at. Yep. They still have food they're eating. And they're very active now. You see they're active. They're active now. So hopefully the medicine and vitamins really help them. Um, we're going to listen at night. They'll be changing this um, later tomorrow, the Lord willing. We did dust them. Um, it was recommended that we dust them for lice so that they can be free from lice. So we did dust them. And then it's recommended that you change the litter. So that's what we're going to do. Um, my husband wants to be here to oversee it. So he will be here. They're enjoying the sun. You see they get sunshine. But they can also get it in the shade if they want. So that's a good thing about this pen. They get sunshine and shade. Whatever is best for them. So they really enjoy that. Gonna come in here, these ladies, the same thing. Although these ladies, I do not see them in the sun often. Sorry for the camera, guys. I gotta hold it funny. Okay, these ladies, I don't see them like laying in the sun or sitting in the sun like I do these. These ladies do that, but these not so much. So let's come and pick these eggs. I already picked three. So that means there were nine eggs today, guys. And look at the size. It fills up the crate. This is just a egg crate that I bought at Dollar Tree. I bought several of them. I knew that I wanted us to have chickens that would lay eggs. So we never imagined this and we never imagined what's coming. Um, we are planning on expanding this, I'm pretty sure, if it's profitable. So we're keeping records and we're keeping close tabs on it and see if this is profitable um yeah i don't know why these ladies were started to lay late but we're going to continue to monitor everything i'm hoping and praying that since they started late they will continue after the time they normally stop yeah so we're keeping a close eye on it and keeping good record so stay tuned um yeah, this is a long journey here. It's at least a two-year journey from the time, you know, the birds, they say they lay pretty productively for two years. So stay tuned and you guys can follow along with us. 
That's what's going on with the ladies. I got to come back down here. I'm going to go turn the water on. I'll come back down here and take care of their water. I'll see if Frida wants to help me. She's taking a little break right now. She too has been doing her laundry. She helped me down here. She's been answering the gate, um, cleaning up, doing her dishes, sweeping. So we've been um, we've been quite busy today, as is every day. So we're coming up here now. I wanted to give you guys a little update on the dogs. I think I started to tell you. I'm not sure. I'll find out when I listen back to the video. But I wanted to give you an update on Peace. Peace had a very big... Um, I don't know what to call it. Like a growth or something that came up very rapidly on the back of her head like where the crown of her head is it came up very quick and it was quite concerning it just so happened that it was the time guys I'm going to show you the sour sauce while I'm talking it was time for them to go and get dewormed and checked out at the vet anyway Okay, here's the one we were watching. And look at it, guys. Now it looks like it's getting brown. So I don't know what's going on. You see, too, the stem area is looking like it's getting pretty thin. But we still have more of these coming on. So we'll keep watching. Anyway. It was time for all of them to go. We got them all on the same schedule, the five dogs. We have three puppies left besides Courage. So the puppies only needed deworming and the vet said that we could bring Courage and he will give them an idea of the weight of the other puppies and then they will be able to see how much um, of the tablet we need to give them for their deworming and then also for their flea and tick so we took the dogs and they gave them the dewormer they gave them some vitamins too I just saw another soursop and for peas they said I don't know where I saw it for peace, they said that sometimes the dogs, especially her breed, play very rough. And it can get a fluid pocket. There it is. It can get a fluid pocket on there. That's what that looks like. Can get a fluid pocket and then, um, you know, it can do that. Uh-oh. Stepped in the water. It can do that. It can, um grow rapidly like that and the fluid will be coming more and more so they had to actually take a needle and drain the fluid off and then um give her some pills so we had to give her some medication she has to take it in the morning and in the evening guys i'm going to show you her because i just i don't want you guys to get concerned or worried if that happens to your dog so i'm gonna take the risk of those in the comments that are coming for me because of come on pc because of her being in the cage so here's where it was right here on her head and guys it was huge it was about a uh, softball size in just about two days or maybe three days so it's still, you can kind of see, it's still, I'm trying to get a good angle on it for you. It's still, I don't want to touch it because of when he took the fluid off. It's still smallish, but the, sorry PC girl, I got you up. She's a good girl. Um, 
he's he had to use the needle to get the fluid off so i don't really want to touch it too much but i just wanted to show you guys so that comes he said from rough playing and they do play very very rough the girls play rough peace subine and grace they play very very rough i mean it's it's really serious at times we just break it up and um yeah it is it's something that i wanted to share with you guys in case you know you have anything similar going on so it's nothing to be alarmed about but to me i just i'm gonna be breaking them up a lot now when they're doing that kind of nonsense mm -hmm. i'll be breaking them up play like little ladies not like wrestlers but i guess we're gonna go ahead i'll take you for a little walk here in the garden and show you what's going on here i see i need to pick some tomatoes but guys it's way too hot right now i'm not going to come out here and pick them but this is how things are going I mean, they're growing, and you can see we're going to have a lot more tomatoes. All the flowers. I have not seen any garden eggs yet. I really haven't. The flowers are gone. I see some ants on this one. The lemon tree. Guys, I sprayed them last time, the citrus trees. I sprayed them so that... Those little worms would quit eating, eating all the leaves. Let's see. I really don't see any garden eggs. I've seen a lot of flowers on these, but no garden eggs. I've seen a lot of flowers on the peppers and I see little peppers. A lot of flowers on the tomatoes. I've seen tomatoes, you see? I gotta get out here this evening, guys. Look at that. What a blessing. I did not pick yesterday, so today they're gonna be super sweet. So yeah. Um unless I don't know guys. I don't know how the garden eggs are. I've never grown garden eggs. So we're gonna watch it together. No papaya. I don't know how old the papaya tree has to be before it actually starts producing fruit. So if you guys know in the comment, let me know in the comments. If you know how long it takes for a papaya tree to produce fruit. Does it produce fruit in the first year? Or do you have to wait a couple years? I don't know. So I guess I could Google it, but I won't probably won't remember when I'm done with this video. So if you guys know off the top of your head and you're listening right now, if you leave it in the comments, that would be great. I've learned a lot from you guys. You guys really, really have great suggestions and great information. Um, it's a wonderful community we have here. So yeah, like I said, the garden eggs, I know my Ghanaian uh, followers will know about the garden eggs. See, these have purple flowers and some have white flowers. And I know some of the garden eggs are purple, like they have purple swirls in them or they're all the way purple. So my Ghanaian watchers and subscribers, let me know how the garden eggs look. Think we're gonna have a lot of garden eggs? Maybe that's a garden egg. Maybe after the flower goes and the petals fall, maybe we get the garden egg from there. We'll see. We're gonna follow it and find out. Here are the peppers, guys. Yep, got a lot of peppers on this one. I'll probably come and pick some of these peppers with the stem and then i have some imported lemons 
and I have some Kerrygold milk powder and I can put all that together, mix up the milk powder and make milk and then put all of that together. They say you can make yogurt. So we're gonna give that a shot. That would be really good to be able to make your own yogurt. So we're probably gonna give that a try before the lemons end up going bad. So that's what's going on here. The turkey berries are doing well. Um, yeah, turkey berries are flowering. This is a big turkey berry right here. So look guys, my okra seeds, they're doing good. I have a couple of them that look pretty well dried out. So I think what I'm going to do is leave the rest of this okra. I think it's pretty much done producing, but any others that come, I'm going to leave it. I have a small bag in the freezer. So a lot of times um, our daughter comes when she makes soup or stew, then she will add a couple pieces of okra to it. To thicken it up, I guess, is what it is. So we can use that okra like that. So our trees, let's take a look at our trees. And I'm glad you guys are seeing this garden now. Because I'm going to show you an update. You see how the grass has really grown? I'm going to show you an update after our helper weeds it for me. There's the nutmeg again. Two nutmeg. They're doing really, really good. Let's check our citrus trees and see how they're doing now after I got rid of the, the worm that was eating them up. Let's see, where did it go? Oh, there it is. And there's a garden egg. It's getting quite big, too. Okay. It's still looking the same. That worm was really eating all the leaves. So let's see. I don't see the leaves growing back yet, but it'll probably take a little time. Probably take a little bit of time. Oh guys, check out the plantain. We didn't look at that one too. I, I wanna show you that. Look at how nice it's coming along. The good thing I'd like about the plantain and the papaya in the garden is that when you're out here doing some work it can um, produce some shade for you so you can go on under it like look at the papaya and the shade won't be too much that your plants won't grow but look so when that papaya grows up you can just kind of sneak your way underneath it and get you a little break from that sun because that sun is no joke and look at the flowers guys nobody planted this here if you guys have an area and you really want it to look pretty these flowers are really good you just have to buy some they come from up there beside the house so somehow some way They've been popping up all over the yard. It's very, very nice. So I'm looking for the other citrus tree. It's kind of gotten hidden back here somewhere. I'm trying to find it for you guys. It's probably right under my nose. You guys probably see it and are telling me it's right there. It's right there. <laughs> All right, I really don't see it right now. Oh, here it is. See, that's what I was talking about. Okay, it's looking nice now. That was just a grasshopper on there. No more worm eating all the leaves. So that's a blessing. Now that's what's going on out here in the garden. Um, I do need to get back out here. The turmeric, I need to pick those leaves again. I added it to my egg this morning that I made and I added the turmeric powder. So I'd like to start incorporating that into cooking just because it's very good for you. God, as a butterfly. 
I hear what something that sounds like thunder. Hopefully it doesn't rain right now. We can get our clothes dried and get them in before it rains. So that's what's going on here in the garden. A lot of tomatoes are ready. I did freeze some tomatoes. So that was a blessing. Anytime we're making, um, basically guys here, it's soup and stew and maybe jollof rice or something like that. And what else? Like some, it's kind of like salsa. They call it hot pepper. And then they also make different things with garden eggs, like stew and stuff of that nature. So we use a lot of tomatoes and the tomatoes can be used if they're frozen. It's okay, cause you're gonna cook it down anyway. So we have tomatoes in the freezer. We have onions in the freezer. We bought a whole bunch of onions and we put some in the freezer and then the hot pepper we had a lot of hot pepper in the freezer and it's almost gone now so these peppers are coming on so that will be nice to be able to get some put up in the freezer again and then the cassava is going to come little by little you see how they're staggered the plants so that will be beneficial. The turkey berry, when it starts coming on and getting ripe, we will definitely be putting that in the freezer. So the freezer is good. It's just quick. You can take the stuff, um, clean it up, put it in the freezer, and then it's ready to go when you're ready to cook. So we still haven't seen any evidence of fruit on the other trees I did want to show you how the plantain and the bananas are going well, there's the plantain my husband sent me some videos from the farm hopefully I'll be able to get those uploaded to you guys within the next few days um, I'm working on it we'll see how that goes but some of the plantain there is already yellow. And the blessing is he already found a buyer for some of it. So he's going to bring some and sell it to a lady on our road. And then she'll be able to sell it. So this is what the bananas are looking like. They're getting there, guys. They're getting there. And we also have this bunch, but it's behind that bunch. So this one will take a little bit longer. I do not know why. Oh, yeah, I guess I keep saying that to myself. But then I think the bananas are different. All bananas are different. So this one might not have a long flower that comes. Usually the ones I see have this flower like this, but it's long. There's a long like stem-like thing. But that's what's going on here. The other, um, the other things are not fruiting yet. The trees and those things, the coconuts doing well. This will be a very, very nice space right here. When the coconut tree grows up, it will have a nice little canopy here. You see this coconut tree and the, um, the shade it's starting to give when you're hanging your clothes out. It's very nice. So that's what's going on here at the homestead. I've rambled a lot. Um, I hope you guys found value in it or just enjoyed looking around the homestead. I'll try to give you guys an early morning or late evening video next so you can see the animals more in action. And we'll also get a video for you when laundry is not hanging up of the dogs and the pups that we have left. We still have three puppies left. Two females. Um, or we have females. We have Courage is our male that we're keeping, but we still have three puppies. So 
we're taking care of them keeping them up to date and waiting on their forever home so that's what's going on guess i'll get back with you guys tomorrow the lord willing and we'll see what other updates we have or what else we can do we are almost one year exactly two more days will be one year since we set foot here in ghana to to stay so i'm looking forward to that i hope i can do something special for you guys as far as a video on that day um yeah hopefully we can do something i'm trying to work things out and see what we can bring for you guys on that day because it's a special day one year try and answer some questions that you guys might have or give you some information that would be beneficial if you're planning on doing that um yeah some little fun facts about the mini farm and all that good stuff so we'll try to work on that and see what we can do for you guys and i think i'm gonna leave you with that mama's always here right here at the gate huh mama mama look at her guys <laughs> she sniffed you <laughs> okay guys i'm gonna leave you at that till next time god bless you